Hi everyone! Welcome to another After School Tech Tips with the Tips team. My name is Bernice and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to create QR codes for assessment. QR codes are wonderful. They're a great way to jazz things up in your classroom, make it easy for students to access web addresses without typing it in. You can make QR codes, print them off, post them around the classroom, and make station activities, send them to a website or extra practice, or create your own twist on a scavenger hunt or a gallery walk. So without further ado, let's take a look at how to create a QR code. All right, so right here I have my Google form that I want to send the students to. Notice here that I am in the view form of that. Um, and so this is not the edit mode, this is the view form, the way that the students would see it when they go to access the form. I'm going to right click and you'll see here, create QR code for this page. I'm gonna click on that and boom, there's your QR code. I'm gonna press download and just like that, I have now downloaded that as an image and I can use that somewhere. Now, of course, this QR code um, is again the form that you want. So for example, if I am setting up a Google form, please note that I do need to click the preview button so that I have the view form before I go in to create my QR code for the page. Now, this works whether it is for a Google form or any web address. So I can head to a Wikipedia page and do the exact same thing to create this QR code. Now, when you have your QR code ready, you can set this up. I can go ahead and put this into a Google document. So I'm gonna go in here, go into insert and image, and I'm going to just upload this from my computer and pull that image and there's my QR code. I can go ahead and resize this to whatever it is I want it to. And then you will notice now that the QR code is ready. You can print this off or you can go and just actually scan it right with your phone. So I'm gonna go in and scan this. And boom, you can see it has actually sent me straight to that Wikipedia page that I wanted. And so there you go. I hope that helps. Subscribe to our channel for weekly videos on technology integration. If you have any questions, check out tips.epsb.ca or connect with your TIPS member. We can help support you with that. All right. Thanks so much. Take care.